What's going on everybody, Sliding Dutchman here and today I have a little video on Car X Drift Racing on the console, in this case PS4. Uh, for the people that were waiting for this video, because I've spoken to a few subscribers and people that follow me. Uh, I was planning to do this yesterday, but unfortunately uh, I was recording a whole damn video and then noticed that my mic has turned itself off. So I'm, I will keep checking uh, that my mic will stay on this time. Um, I don't know for what reason it did it, but I got some new batteries and everything in it, so it should work now. Um, that said, then also for the new subscribers to my channel, I don't only do real life drift shit. I basically started off with uh, gaming and it was mainly focused around cars. Just cars, drifting uh, and uh, uh, like games and the combination of those. Uh, that. Uh, gradually evolved to like saying fuck it I want to drift in real life so I did and well that's uh, for the new subscribers that's how you probably seen or found my videos uh, but either way uh, I still do some gaming content but I think there's a lot of gaming content already out there I don't want to be repetitive for just throwing videos out just for the sake of having daily or weekly uploads I try to do weekly but unfortunately um, uh, the drift car is now um, sort of in storage. I'm working on it. Uh, some few little things I will... Um, I did an update video on that uh, a few videos before uh, this. But also uh, when it's all ready to go I will update and inform you guys. So that will all be coming back. But in the meantime we got this game. And if you're not familiar with Car X Drift Racing this game is a uh, mobile game. Uh, originally a mobile game that made its way into PC and from the highly success of the PC version it also came to consoles uh, I don't know if it's on <coughs> excuse me uh, I don't know if it's on um, uh, Xbox as well I think so because I mean if you bring it to one console then why not the other uh, it's reason specific when it came out because here it's already out and as of yesterday or the day before I heard it was not out yet in America uh, so that can be still uh, that it will needs to come out or it has already came out um, but I will just show you a quick uh, car list uh, like all the games we usually have I don't know how they do this because the cars are basically except replicas of the real life thing and then they have like crazy body kits and stuff like that um, and uh, as you can see they don't use the real names because of copyright I don't know how they still manage to do it because the cars just look really good uh, you have classes 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 um, depending on the car you get um, in single player at least uh, also in multiplayer but I will address that a little bit later um, uh, you start with the lowest cl uh, class uh, car and you get like um, points for the drift you do and that point uh, level is gonna be this is my E36 it's in my color it's with the white body like I have it uh, not that this this white body is in paint and there's a livery on there it's not my livery not the livery that I'm planning to do for some people that may think that but um, yes um, I will um, do some crazy on the real life MW, but that's not the intention of this video. Um, I'm just gonna throw it, start in there, do a single player event. Um, there are lots of different uh, races uh, to do, or races, drift events. This is like parking lot sort of area. Uh, this is an airbase, um, uh, mountain road, uh, circuit, circuit, circuit. This Milton Drive is actually, as you see at the layout on the left, this is uh, for people that might recognize this. This is uh, Mount Panorama, or better known as Bathurst, uh, which is in Australia. Uh, this, I don't know if every track is a real life track, um, but as you can see, it's just. Uh, different layouts and then there's also like normal version reversed it's the same thing but it's reversed uh, we have Japanese mountain roads with a big parking lot area we have this which is um, there is a route set out if you do this as a challenge but if you do this as online or free roam 
it's just a big open area with streets and you can fly through them sideways um then we have like st petersburg which obviously is also a city you can also look at the map that's how it's sort of laid out uh red ring one of the my favorite circuits um how do you know well it's still locked but you can play it in online if people have a lobby open on that and of course east toge which is if you look at the whole map it's not making sense but then at the bottom it's a little bit more uh um uh, 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 tight like the 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 roads are less uh, wide more crammed into each other and that is because that is the Ebisu, uh minami layout the thing is it's not exactly it's a replica uh, so i think the the first corner after you did the wall drag is a little bit different but uh, it's good enough red rock uh, just an uh, know, american style uh, Grand Canyon type of environment and of course one arena with some layouts in there uh, I'm just gonna start off with one I'm just gonna start off with um, I don't know start off with Japanese Mountain Road this is also in the um, mobile version uh, I'm just gonna do this and show you guys uh, uh, the game and after that, I'm gonna be uh, jumping on online and show you what the game is really about because I think online is where it really lives. So, let's turn the sound down a little bit. That's the ghost of my previous runs that is just riding there. If I want, I can go and start tandem with that. Although, it's now kind of running away a bit from me. But, um,. The controls, let's start off with that. Um, it's arcadey. It's arcadey as fuck. There we go. Um, but, uh, that's sad. It's incredibly, fu incredibly fun. Um, it's a, it's a difficult, uh, easy to pick up game, but hard to master, basically. Because uh, if you go online and you see people throw tandems and just, that's, um, um, that's a whole different game. If you think you're good, go online and there will always be someone who is better. Uh, I'm kind of sucking at the moment because I just uh, came home. This is my first lap of, of the day. Um, which is always a little bit of adjusting and then after like 15 minutes you're ripping it and connecting everything probably by the end of this run. Also, I'm trying to think what I'm going to say because this is not scripted and I'm just talking all the info that I have on the game and think is is good to share so back to the physics it's arcade as fuck i'm playing this oh right now with the controller uh yes i have a whole play seat a full rig it does work with that but it's a lot tougher on that um it's it is doable though it's not like completely weird or um uh, uh not realistic in a way i mean you have the counter steer and the throttle and the the, only the gearbox doesn't work, uh, so you, you're stuck with the pedals, which is a pain in the ass if you're uh, uh, drifting, because then you're thrown with the wheel, left, right, you don't know which pedal is up and which pedal is down, so you mess up, so I like to use my gated shifter, but unfortunately, as far as for now, it doesn't work, maybe in an update or two. Um, so I would highly recommend this game more on controller than a wheel, doesn't mean that it's uh, not as much fun. Uh, I'm a big fan of playing games with a wheel if I'm able, but for some reason this game is just so competitive and so fun that I accept this game as a game to be fun on controller. Um, I'm not gonna make that top score though in this case. Because also you need to have like big angle to get those extra points in. Oh, and then not too much because she will spin out and especially like this you see my multiplier goes back to zero to, to one and you will lose all your points. You will you get your points but you lose your multiplier and you need to like combo that multiplier all the way to the end to get the gold scores on some uh, runs like here you can see it's times one and then it just uh, it counts up if you do drifts and this is like a little drift but if you then, then throw it really sideways you see it goes up faster also, the faster you go, the, the higher it gets, and more quickly it, it ranks up. Um, but 
yeah, if once you get the hang of this game, which takes takes a few tries, the first time I was like, oh, maybe I did a, made a mistake by buying this game. It was only twenty three ninety nine. Um, there we go. It was only twenty three ninety nine, which is not a lot. Uh, but I thought like um, it was it was going to be better on the controller at first. And then you start tuning your car, do a proper drift setup instead of the stock setup that you start off with. And then it all makes sense. It starts to click. It's still, like I said, it's an arcade game. Um, but that being said, it's not a game you need to stay away from if you're a fan of drift racing. Um, uh, drift racing, sorry, sim racing. Uh, especially in the, on the drifting side, that is. Uh, do you like drifting games? Do you play Gran Turismo with a controller? Do you drift on Gran Turismo? For that price of just 20 bucks, uh, 20, 25, let's say, um, I think this is a game I can recommend. Um, you can um, go through all sort of settings, uh, tire width. I'll, I'll show you guys a little bit. Um, hold on, let me just. I don't want to do it with this car because I've already pimped that. Um, let's say you take the E30 out. Uh, look, it's it's on stock. You can tune that up. And then if you have the ultimate setup, which is not expensive, so I'm going to buy it. Uh, you can change the spring rates on the front, uh, the length. So you can fully slam it if you want. Make it really crazy. Uh, if you want to go really crazy, you lower the diameters of the wheels. And now you're scraping everywhere and creating sparks. Looks ridiculous, but for some reason, I don't know, it's fun. Uh, the fact that you can do that and do whatever you want in the game. It's... Uh, perfect so yeah you can lower the car stance it slam it whatever you want uh, you have the springs the shocks the camber uh, caster all that sort of stuff uh, of course steering angle up to the max uh, the tire width um, also the tire pressure um, Gran Turismo learn from that tire pressure it could really really be useful also if you want them wide out you can do that to ridiculous levels where you can be that that same 10 year old uh, GTA player that, that, that wears pink leggings and have a weird like fake not realistic character. I mean, me personally, I like something that is a little bit more realistic, uh, even though the game isn't um, in a, to a certain extent. Um, but anyways, uh, you do that. And you can tune the engine. You can do it, give it a tune-up. Uh, you can give it more torque. You can raise the rev limiter, turbocharger. Yes, please. Uh, bulk that up, and as you can see, that we go to 548 horsepower, which is a lot better than stock. Uh, transmission, brakes, all that sh uh, good shit. Um, safe change, yeah, why not? Don't care. Um, then you come to body kits, and for every car, it's like you pick it, you have multiple body kits to choose from. So you go, like, I want that one, and it throws a, a preset body kit on there. As you see, my car is too low, it, it goes through the fender, so uh, I, I usually throw on the body kit and then I work on the stance to make it look good. Um, also, we have this one, and another one. And then if you basically you put this on, or let's let's take a good one. I like this white body a bit more than this, I think. On the other hand. Yeah, let's just take this one. I'll buy it. And then if you say like I don't like the spoiler because it's too big, you can choose different spoilers from other body kits to make it more suitable it's a bit too ridiculous this one or this one come for the ducktail i think yeah yep more drift style also uh, like tail lights in this case you can keep them or remove them but some cars have like five or six uh, different sort of uh, tail lights trunk uh, roll cage, uh, mirrors, all the good stuff. Yeah, and the front lights, you have so many options. With with the kit, oh, it's without the kidneys, didn't even notice that. Whoa. 
Ooh, square. I would say I go for the yellow because I have yellow ones in mine. But that's with the kidney and I really like it without the kidney to be honest. So that's that. Uh, also design, you can do paint and you can also do vinyls. And if you look at this, you have just, um, uh, it's basically the same as GT uh, on vinyls, but you can only not import your own uh, vinyls, but you can choose them. You can make them bigger, smaller, whatever you want. And then you say, no, I want them on that side. You go to where your uh, projection is and then boom, that's where you want it. Or you want it, uh, like you don't have to pick a side to put it on. You just stretch it to that side, place your camera so you look straight on it. Boom, there it is. So it's pretty easy uh, easy to do and if you put some time in it you can really make some cool liveries with some crazy colors and all sort of stuff. Um, I'm not gonna bother doing this really now. Just gonna throw this on, symmetrical, bam, there it is. So then it's on both sides because that's how the symmetrical thing works and hopefully, of a, 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 thankfully that is in the game. Then, next thing, gonna drop out, save, ch yeah, just save it, put it on there. I'm totally fine with that. Uh, we have a lot of different cars, I've been drifting that one. Uh, 240SX. Like I've showed you guys all the cars. Uh, I mean, I had I had to have this station Volvo because I have one myself. Not this model, the model after this was still the square, like, tanks, 740. Um... Inspired by a Twerk Stallion, as you can see. Um, I don't know why, but I like it. Um, and then, it's what I wanted to talk about, is the multiplayer. Because if you go online, you can do two things. You have this. Oh, oh it was already on. Um, these are just PlayStation um, playlists. But then you go R2. And it shows you PC playlists as well. So this game is cross-platform. Only thing I've noticed, if you have a really full PC lobby, um, I noticed that the um, it can get a little bit... Red ring? Who's in here? Oh, it's locked by password anyway. Guess you can see there's a little green two puppets, hats, racing helmets, whatever, on the end. Um, that means one of your friends is in that lobby. But uh, what I was saying is that if you go on a PC lobby and it's full, like 16 players and everyone's going at it, I experience a little bit of lag or lag uh, frame rate drop. And well, if you go on, on PlayStation lobbies, it doesn't happen even when it's full. Um, so, so far for PC Master Race, or it can be the PlayStation that can't keep up. One of the two. Uh, so I'm just going to join in and show you guys how it sort of works. Uh, I wanted to go to Red Ring actually because that's so good on the... On the um, Alright, just go east. Okay, This is a PlayStation lobby as well, so we're not going to experience any frame rate drops or not noticeable frame rate drops um, as you can see this is Abasu to be honest there is a little bit frame rate drop first time I've experienced this on a, a PlayStation lobby So, that's the only thing you need to work on. That corner is so tight that the game almost almost thinks you're spinning out and it resets your uh, combo for some reason. You really have to do a wide, not cool drifting line to, to be able to make that. Oh, yeah, of course you can pass, man. Somebody's want to do a drift. That's cool. This is what I think it's all about. These are drift events.
Where are you? What is this? Oh, this is just a normal one with uh, you need to get points here. There we go. Take home the win in this one. Bam, first place. But, best thing is, you go to these events and you can uh, select for competition or whatever. He wants to do the same thing again. No, I don't want that. I want to do the competition. Let's do B. As soon as you hit that, you go into a separate thing, so you have no problems with other players ramming you, pushing you offline when you do the challenge. Um, three people join in, you can do it with four people at once. Uh, and the thing is, you have like clipping points, you have like cones you need to get close to, uh, touch and go or whatever they call them. Uh, the closer you get, the more points you get, and with all the clipping points you get like uh, uh, points for that. It's like a big flag marker with a square on the tarmac where you need to go through with the rear end. Uh, and also like the, the little cones are like set up here next to the wall and it depends how close you get to the wall and how much angle you get. And also sometimes on the inside so you need to clip them with the front. Um, but that is just so competitive and so good. I really really enjoy it, really like it. Um, it's about to start, 3, 2, 1 and the last one just left what a piece of shite okay let's do the two-man competition then start it up as soon as someone joins bam we begin there we go look at that livery it's good right come on man let's go with it rb you see the clipping points no ah I lost because I got this. I got disqualified because I lost uh, all speed and momentum. Also, this is just with the clipping points. I think this can be different. Yep. Well, thank you for that. Tandems, dual. Yep. Let's try that one. Because, like I said, you have those classes, and the money you get with uh, the points you get with drifting is the money you get. And depending on what car, car class you've unlocked, because if you purchase a car from class 5 and you drive in your class 1 car, you still get that um, uh, bonus uh, of times 5 in that case. Uh, so you get a lot more points, a lot more cash. And, well, cash is not the problem in this game because you go over a million with ease. Especially if you have the times five thing, but XP is more of the problem. Oh, you got me! Nice one. I don't know who you are. Nice job, man. Uh, I would love to do that again on point C. That's that's the track behind this track. The thing you've seen on the top-down map. It's like Abasu, but there. Are... Wow, that was weird. Like I said, the game is still out, there's still some little bugs and glitches, but I, I'm confident that they will fix it. And... No! Oh, I hit them all. He's gonna win this again. Damn it. Oh well. No! Ah, oh, he still took it. <laughs> Just by damn nothing. If I didn't have that that little touch on the on the poles on the last corner, I would have had it. That was a good one though. Uh, but yeah, if you do this with your friends, just battling. This, I mean, this is the first game that implements how drifting works, works, how it's being judged, how it's being done, and I think that's really 
uh, fun and competitive, so just slide with your friends and try to, to battle them on certain uh, tracks and just such a good good road course. Such a good time. Ooh. He just hit that rear. Fuck! Did it again. He's gonna beat me again. No! I took it! I don't know where he fucked up then, but he had even less a score than last time. Oh well. Um, so yeah, you have multiple cars uh, to have fun in. Uh, whatever floats your boat, basically. Um, cars, I think, sound pretty good. They sound like RBs or like RX-7s or whatever you want to drive. Um, to a certain extent, of course. But I'm just having so much fun with the game and especially if you have some friends that play this or just uh, Motivate your friends to play this you can have so much so much fun uh, on the wheel. It's doable Like I said, it's a bit tougher uh, But still uh, give it some tries and you will get the hang of it uh, But for controller people if you're into cars if you're into drifting like I said if you play in GT Sport or if you're if you drift on GT Sport this is a game I highly recommend for that 20, 25 uh, dollars or like 23 euros. So depending where you're from, uh, the price may difference a little bit or it may not even be out yet. But um, I think for that price, this is a very good and quality game. Also, if you've seen the single player I did, there are some races you can do there. Um, but with those races, if you do them, uh, you, you complete everything in gold, you pick a different car, and it's all need to be done again. Uh, some might think it's infuriating, I think it's a good way to make extra money and gives it a replay valuable, um, of value. Because uh, once you've finished the game like doing all the tracks and you leveled up with the XP enough, then uh, what is there to do than just online battle? Well, pick a new car, start a new build, make it cool, make it handle well, do all the events all over again. Um, I think it's really fun. Uh, also, um, there was another thing that I wanted to address, which I don't know now. Well, if I can't think of it now, then it was not important. Just um, try to enjoy this session here. Still drifting on my own though. Where, are, where is everyone? I will show you guys one more track and one more uh, car. Um, oh, that's what I wanted to say. Like, you can see here that I got over a thousand XP. Normal on an event, you get like three to four, maybe 600 if you're lucky for an event. Uh, and if you do challenges like that and just back to back challenges, you get like, in a matter of no time, like half an hour play time, and you get like over 6,000 XP, which is a lot of fun to do and, and makes you level up so much faster. And, and the leveling up part is where you need XP for. Single player, I see it, is for money, and the XP is a lot easier to gain in uh, online. And maybe it's been done with a reason, so people will still play a lot of online, which would be a good thing. I just don't understand why people aren't racing or drifting on uh, Red Ring. Oh, there is Red Ring. Only one person in it. Mm. Doesn't matter though. Just want to show off the track and how it works. Because this has, I think, one of the coolest battle sections in there. Also, it's... It's the most grassroots like track. And my phone is exploding. Stop it. All right, here we go. Let's do a duel, clipping aim. And then sometimes people don't join, unfortunately, but um Hopefully they will now. But then you enter here, very hard. Oh, I didn't change the car. 
Well, if you're very interested to this game and you want to drive a different car um, or you want to see a different car, I would just highly recommend get this game and drive it for yourself and have fun with it. Uh, also, you can, even if I'm on the controller, if you hold the handbrake, it's like a, also clutching for you, so you can rev it up and then just drop it, even if you go in like this. Oh man, just pulls you out every time. Game is very slippery, but you will get used to it and uh, it's just, I'm enjoying it very much. And that's, I'm still playing like but mostly single player because no one's joining me and <laughs> at the time then. Uh, I had a crazy good session with uh, one of my PSM buddies, uh, Uwe, I think is who he was called. And we just were battling back to back, which was very intense. So I can only imagine if you have a group of friends online here playing this. Um, if you have me on PlayStation or you're buying this game, please at me sliding dutchman or sliding underscore dutchman um and i would love to to join this game with you and uh and battle because um as for now i'm not done with it yet that far no stupid tires oh Ugh. what the hell is that guy doing get some fuel time buddy Let's see what you're doing He might not be right in the head. <laughs> that we went with the clutch kick because it almost died out. I don't know where he went. Wait, he was just there and it was a different name. It is saying that I'm with only two people in the lobby. That guy disappeared. That one, uh, I think I just switched places maybe. Come on, do a duel. I know you want to. Come on, join in. Anyways. He doesn't want to join in. So, yeah, this game is best if you play it with a few friends. He might be from Australia because he's only doing burnouts. Oh, there he goes. So he does wanna wanna go and wants to slide. But you don't want that battle. Oh I'm overshooting it a little bit. Oh no not. Able to still maintain it. He's even running that section. Come on. Battle with me. No. What the hell? Okay. In that case, go slide on your own and have fun. Because I'm not competing to that. If you don't want to tend them, stay offline. Go play single player. It's the same thing, but I think with people sometimes with a mic. You play online games like uh, like I play on VR, like Firewall, or um, uh, for instance, a game everyone knows, uh, Rainbow Six. It's a competitive game where you need to use tactics and you need to use communication. And then there's still people not using a mic or not having a mic. And I'm like, if you're if you're playing with other people. Then it's like going to a party and don't say anything. Don't go to a party then. Stay home. 
Anyways. <laughs> um, here we go. The car list, if I haven't showed you guys yet, all the way to the bottom. Uh, we have my E36, which I really love. Uh, 240s. Uh, an old Volvo, uh, R33, Godzilla, which is named Godzilla, but the nickname is the, it's cool. Um, PS13, RX7, 350Z, oh, I got the hiccup, sorry. Um, 270Z, Skyline, Evos, um, Chasers, Camaro, new RX7, BMW, Skylines, Sylvia's. Man, that one. Um, another Sylvia. Supra Mustang. Well, on the list goes on until here. So, pick your poison, basically. So, I hope that for the people that were doubting about this game, wanted to see more about this game, or um, were just curious, or just following my channel, um, I hope I informed you well. I hope that I can but this helped you to make your decision. Um, if you like the game on mobile, you can always try the game on mobile. It's not physically the same thing. It's a lot different, but um, you can basically check out how the game sort of works. The PC and console version is a li little bit more well, the battles and tandems, or they have updated that in the game, but I've never seen it before. Um, so hopefully I helped you guys um, basically get like what do you want to see from this game and is it like is it something from you for you is it worth it? Hopefully you can make your mind up and uh, I will see you guys back in real life drifting pretty damn soon. I want to thank you guys for watching. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And till next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.